This is my 2015 Wrangler JKU. Um, I've seen a few videos online where they converted the rear bumper into a water storage system and apparently it'll hold just under eight gallons. Um, so I'm gonna see if I can do the same thing. Uh, the only problem I might run into with my particular model is because it's the Sahara, it's got this additional piece of plastic which is screwed into the bumper on the back here. And I have seen one other video where somebody did the same thing and he never actually ended up uh, saying whether or not he had any issues with it leaking. Um, so I'm just gonna hope for the best and if, if I find that there are any leaks, I'll just have to remove the screws which are located right there and uh, I'll probably have to seal them off and put them back in. So it'll be a little bit of extra work, but uh, we'll make it happen. Step one is to remove the trim. We'll see what we're dealing with with the uh, power point back there. See if it's easy enough to tap into that and then I'll put a, uh, put a little um, inline fuse in the back uh, as well as a switch probably right here just because it's in a safe protected area or potentially down in there uh, on that little plastic piece right there. So we'll just have to see what's what's gonna work best. Uh, and then I'll have to find a way to route the wires from that plastic trim piece to under the vehicle where I'm gonna be putting the pump. So remove yeah. this panel. You're just gonna remove the bolts that's over here as well as this one right here. And uh, it'll be easy enough to just sort of maneuver it off carefully because there is electrics attached. Okay, so initially I had planned on using the rear power outlet for the wiring but uh, subsequently I realized that wasn't going to work as easily as I thought it would so I've added one of these little uh, adder circuit things from O'Reilly's uh, probably cheaper on Amazon uh, or someplace like that but basically just run the positive through this tiny little hole uh, in this location and then um, attach it obviously onto this and then this piece will slot into the rear power fuse location. So if you put it, I believe on the right hand side, it will be hot all the time. If you put it on the left hand side right here, uh, it'll only be hot when the key is turned. So just an idea, if you do or do not know, depending on the location, your rear power outlet will be able to be used with the key in or out of the ignition. Uh, so, and I think it comes from the factory where the key needs to be in the ignition, but if you move it over one, then you don't need the key there. So, uh, yep, went through here. Uh, went down through the back of the fuse box here and all the way down, continued around through there, fed it underneath the frame and then ran it along the side running board over there and ultimately over the fuel tank in the back and uh, to the pump. So you can just barely see the top of the fuel pump, uh, excuse me, the fuel tank over there. There's those two wires coming through. Um, I've sent the positive up through uh, sort of this location right here to where it's going to come out at the light, the tail light. Uh, and then I'm, I'll show you in a minute. I fed it through and into the cab from there So where I'm gonna put my switch uh, and then it's obviously gonna come back from the switch to the uh, to the water pump itself over here, so um, The water pump is up and mounted. I've bolted it into the floorboards um, I'm gonna have to put another Probably another washer just to make sure it's securely in place um, but yeah, there's my pump and my connector. So right at the back end of the light housing is where that positive line came through. And uh, if we look inside the cab over here, this is where the, the light harness comes through. And it's just a very thin little piece of rubber. So I poked a hole in that and I've brought my positive, uh, my positive wire through. And uh, I'm gonna attach that 
little switch to this piece of trim right here and then that positive is going to go straight back through that same hole and to the pump okay so those uh or well, that positive line coming out the top there has been wired to my uh, switch now please ignore the fact that the positive continues on a black uh, wire that's very poor practice but i ran out of wire and um and it's my jeep so i'm gonna do it uh so yeah just make sure you get enough wire i've used uh 20 feet get yourself 25 feet um, because i was just a little bit too short to use um, the residual to get back to the pump um, or alternatively you could put your switch in a different location I really want mine inside, so I'm just going to use the black wire and be lazy about it. Just for reference, this is the location I bolted my pump to. You can see there was a mistake hole right next to that um, next to that screw right there. So remember, measure twice, drill once. So I've started the plumbing. There's the pump all wired up and ready to go. Um, this is the inlet that's the outlet so my inlet I'm running to that side to the left hand side of the Jeep uh, looking from behind there's the pipe coming out looking closely you can see the orange uh, pump over there so it's gonna ultimately feed through the back over here so here just to wrap up the pump side plumbing there's the uh, faucet on the uh, tow hitch cover so I just bought like a little $10 rubber tow hitch cover from Amazon and shoved it through there. It's a temporary measure. Ultimately, I'll have a bracket built and uh, bolted to the frame uh, so that it'll be completely hidden. The idea is to have this entire system so that you can't see it. It'll be hidden away. You would have to need to crawl under the vehicle like I am now to see it. Um, but it's extremely easy, extremely simple system. Just takes some time and some thinking to get all the parts together. So just to finalize the whole project, there's the uh, hose. And here's my filler cap. So this is just a filler cap for a boat, uh, which I saw someone on YouTube suggested this. Great idea. Of course, it'll never rust. And it sits flush more so than if you were to use some other kind of a flange. So I've just got to throw a couple, couple screws in there. I've put a little bit of silicon and that'll work just perfectly. So I'm going to open it just a little bit to vent it. Turn the key for the accessory. 